When solving for two variables with two equations, I'd say the most popular way or the best way is using the elimination method. Take a look at this example. We're given negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 14 and 2x plus 2y equals 4. What we do is, if we just simply add up and down, notice that negative 2x and 2x will cancel each other out. And 3y and 2y, if we add, once again, we get 5y. And if we add the right side of the equal sign, the negative 14 and the 4, we get negative 10. Then to solve for y, we would divide by 5, where we get y equals negative 2. Then to solve for the value of x, we would simply take that negative 2 and plug it into either the first or the second equation. Where if we take that negative 2, plug it into the first equation, then we end up getting negative 2x plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 14. Negative 2x minus 6 is negative 14. And then finally, divided by negative 2 on the left and the right, where we get x equals 4. Where we could write the final result or the answer as 4 for the value of x and the negative 2 for the value of y. With this first example, we were lucky to have a negative 2 and a 2x where we added and the x's cancel themselves out. However, in the second example, notice we have an x and a 2x and a y and a 3y, where if we just simply add up and down, neither the x nor the y's will cancel out. Then in order to get rid of or cancel out the x or the y, we need to either multiply the first equation by negative 2 in order to get rid of the x, or negative 3 in order to get rid of the y. Since we're able to do one or the other, let's go ahead and multiply by negative 2 to the first equation, where we end up getting negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 8 for the first equation. Now, notice that if we add up and down, that negative 2x and the 2x will cancel each other out. Once again, the negative 2y and the 3y will give us a y. Negative 8 plus 9 equals 1. And then we'll take that 1, plug it into either the first equation or the second equation. And it looks like if we plug the 1 into the y to the first equation, this will work out nice and clean where we have x equals 3. And once again, we could go ahead and write the final answer as 3 for the value of x and 1 for the value of y. In this problem, first thing you want to notice is that we have a b or 7b in the front. However, we have c in the front. And of course, we have a c in the second position for the first equation. However, a b right underneath it. In order to complete the elimination method correctly, we want to line up the variables where we have the b's underneath b and of course the c underneath the c for the first and the second equation. So let's go ahead and swap the position of the negative 4c and the negative 2b so that the negative 2b will be underneath the 7b like this and then the negative 4c will be underneath the negative 5c. Then we want to get rid of either the b or the c and what I want to do is multiply the first equation by 2 while multiplying the second equation by 7 in order to create a 14b in the front and negative 14b in the front for the second equation, where we end up getting 14b, because 2 times 7 is 14b, minus 10c, because 2 times negative 5c is negative 10c, and finally 2 times 11 is 22. And then if we multiply 7 to the second equation, we end up getting negative 14b, which is what we wanted, minus 28c equals negative 98. Now that we have 14b and negative 14b, where we add up and down, and then the b's will cancel each other out, negative 10c minus negative 28c is negative 38c, and 22 
plus negative 98 or 22 minus 98 is going to be negative 76. And then if we divide it by negative 38, we end up with C equals 2. Then we'll take that 2 and plug it into one of the equations and let's go ahead and plug it in right there where we get negative 2B minus 4 times 2 equals negative 14. Where B equals 3. Then our final answer in the format that we prefer is going to be 3 for the value of B and 2 for the value of C. Here we have a 2x in the first equation and a 5x in the second equation. So let's go ahead and multiply the first equation by 5, meaning the coefficient of the second equation. And then we're going to multiply the second equation by 2, the coefficient of the x of the first equation. However, because me personally like to add the first and the second equation, when I do elimination method, I like to put a negative 2 in the front. Then if we do the multiplication, we end up getting 10x minus 35y equals 15 for the first equation and negative 10x plus 8y equals 12 for the second equation. Then if we add the first and the second equation, the 10x and the negative 10x will cancel each other out, giving us negative 27y equals 27 or y equals negative 1. Then we'll take that negative one, plug it into the first or the second equation. Again, I prefer the second equation because the numbers are smaller, where we have 5x minus 4 times negative 1 equals negative 6. Or 5x equals negative 10, or x equals negative 2, where our final answer is going to be negative 2, comma negative 1. In this example, in order to use the elimination method, the first thing we need to do is move the variables around so that we would line up the x's and the y's on top of each other. So first I'm going to take that 4y, put it, take it to the left side of the equal sign, and also take that x, bring it to the left side of the equal sign as well, where we end up getting 2x minus 4y. Remember, when we take that 4y, bring it to the left side, it turns into a negative 4y because we're subtracting 4y from the right and 4y from the left side of the equal sign, and we leave the 5 alone. And then once again, we took that x, brought it to the left side, so we have a negative x on the left side of the equal sign, plus 2y equals 8. And looks like to get rid of the x, all we have to do is multiply the second equation by 2, where we end up getting the negative 2x plus 4y equals 16. And then if we go ahead and combine the top and the bottom, or the first and the second equation, the 2x and the minus 2x cancel each other out. However, that negative 4y and the plus 4y cancels each other as well, leaving us with the big 0 on the left side of the equal sign. Whereas on the right side, we have a 21. And obviously, 0 does not equal 21. And when the variables all cancel out, where we have neither the x nor the y, and the leftover is 0 equal to some number, this is where we have no solution as our final answer. Or you could write it like that. In our last example, we have negative 8x in the front. 4x in the front. So we'll go ahead and multiply the second equation by 2 to get that positive 8x that we want so that we could cancel it out with the negative 8x, giving us this right here. So the negative 8x and the positive 8x cancels each other out. And then the positive 4y and the negative 4y cancels out also, giving us a 0 on the left side of the equal sign. And the negative 2 and the 2 cancels each other also, or if we add the negative 2 and the 2, we get a 0 on the right side of the equal sign also. 
And of course, zero does equal zero, and we no longer have any variables in our equation. The solution to this problem is going to be all real numbers. Meaning we have infinite number of solutions. So one way to describe or write the answer for this question is we could let x and we could go ahead and solve for the value of y in terms of x, where we could go ahead and take that 8x, bring it to the right side of the equal sign, where we get 4y equals 8x minus 2. Notice that negative 8x, when we bring it to the right side of the equal sign, it turns into a positive 8x, because we're just adding 8x and 8x on the left and the right side of the equal sign. And then we'll just simply go ahead and divide everything in the equation by 4 in order to get rid of that 4 in front of the y, where we get y equals 2x minus 1 half. Then in our answer, where we have x in the first position, instead of writing down y here, we could write down the value of y as 2x minus 1 half. I hope this lesson helped you because this is one of the more important foundations of Algebra 2 when solving variables given two equations.